Hello, and welcome to Crom Cooks, the only channel dedicated to teaching you how to do improv cooking at home. Today's episode is truly brought to you by the coronavirus, because the ingredients that I'm starting with today were the only ones available left at the store by the time I got there. For example, by the time I got to the grains aisle, literally the only thing left was barley. So I got myself a big old bag of it. The only problem was, I've never actually cooked barley, so I had no idea what to do with this. Let's see, hey Jibo, do you know how to cook barley? I can't cook, mostly because I don't have arms, and I'm a little scared of the stove. Mm. That's okay Jibo, Google knows. Google always knows. It looks like you cook it pretty much the same way as rice, so I'm thinking of making kind of a barley bowl kind of thing. That means I need a vegetable, and luckily I had some green beans lying around in the fridge. And I also want a protein, so I was scrounging around my freezer, and I came across something that might be kind of interesting. Some scallops. So the first thing going through my mind here is, are these flavors really going to play nice with each other? The scallops are light and briny and even a little sweet, whereas the green beans are vegetal, fresh, and crisp. And then you have barley, which is an ancient grain. So I think it's gonna bring a little toastiness and earthiness to the party. So now that we're going in the seafood direction, I had a bunch of Japanese ingredients lying around that I really wanna take advantage of. The first of which is furikake. Yes, that is actually how you pronounce it, you children. And this is basically shredded seaweed and sesame seeds. And then I started thinking, how can I really boost the flavor of this barley? And that's when I thought I can make a broth out of these bonito flakes and red pepper flakes. So with the barley thoroughly flavorified, I turned my eye to the green beans. First, I'm gonna use soy sauce to bring some saltiness and then a little sake because why not? Chuckle chuckle. And a lemon to brighten up the dish and also bring some sourness to balance the salty. And finally, some miso paste, which I love, but I don't really know how I'm gonna use yet. So we'll figure that out along the way. So with all these ingredients combined, I made... Barley Scallopino. Not exactly a barley bowl, but still looks pretty tasty. So let's see how to make it. The first thing we want to do is make our broth. So we're going to bring six cups of water to a boil. Then we'll add, I don't know, one, two, ah, make it three tablespoons miso paste. We'll bring that to a simmer before adding two heaping pinches of bonito flakes. Then add one and a half tablespoons of red pepper flakes and let simmer for 10 minutes. Once it's done, pour into a strainer and squish out every last drop you can get out of it. Now we have our broth, and I'm gonna scrape out this stuff and see if we can use it for something else. Into a pot goes two cups of barley, six cups of our bonito broth, and then let gently simmer for about 35 minutes. While that's cooking, we're gonna start prepping our mix-ins. Green beans are a little bit annoying because you gotta pick off these ends one by one, but just go to your zen place, crank up some music, and pick away. And then we'll chop the green beans into bite-sized pieces. I ended up cutting these a little too big, and I think I would go smaller next time around. Moving on to the scallops, I got these really big suckers. Normally, I would keep these intact because they're super soft and sweet and have an amazing texture. But these were in my freezer for quite a while, so I felt that a lot of those qualities that I normally love were probably compromised. So I chopped them up into bite-sized pieces, about the same size as the green beans. Now, moving on to the sauce, I have two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sake, squeeze two tablespoons of lemon juice, and then I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of cornstarch to help thicken this up while it cooks. Then, mix it all together. Bringing these over to the stove, and surprise ingredients, garlic and ginger. Get those sizzling, then we'll toss and stir them around before adding the green beans. Give those a toss and a stir, let them cook for about a minute, and then add the sauce. We'll cook all that together until the sauce starts leaving a pretty big trail when you drag your spoon through it. Then it's ready for the scallops, which are gonna cook really fast, so no more than a minute or two. With all our ingredients prepared, we can move on to final assembly. I'm gonna start with a few scoops of barley, a few scoops of the mix-ins, and then mix that together. That doesn't look like quite enough, so I'm gonna mix in a little more and then add in some furikake. I get it, it's still funny. Now to make a fancy version of our barley bowl, we're gonna take a bowl, add a little drizzle of sesame oil and rub that around. Then we'll add our barley mixture and pack it in real tight here. Then are we ready? Flip, tap it for good luck, double tap, triple tap, and voila. 
and I saved a couple of those big scallops, cooked them on a hot skillet for no more than two minutes per side. If you're wondering what happened to that miso paste from earlier, then I have good news for you, because I started experimenting to figure out how to make a garnish out of it. The rest of the dish has a lot of soft textures in it, so I thought I wanted something a little crunchier to contrast with that that I could sprinkle on top. So then I thought, maybe I'll fry it in some oil, mix it around a little bit, and as you can see, it's still pretty soft and didn't really achieve my goal. But let's give it a taste. guys. I think I just figured out how to make vegan chorizo because this tastes exactly like it. However, not exactly what I'm going for. So I decided to put it in the oven for a few minutes. Let's see how it came out. Much better. We'll go ahead and sprinkle that on top and around the plate. And there you have it, a beautiful dish. But more importantly, how does it taste? I'll start with the barley mixture. And these flavors are working really well together. The soy and the miso are bringing a salty, savory smokiness to the dish, and that's being balanced by the brightness of the lemon and the vegetal freshness of the green beans. And then you have the barley, which is this hearty grain that almost has a creamy texture to it, which blends together with the soft, supple texture of the scallops. And then you have the crunchy bits from the miso chorizo sprinkled all around, and all together is really not a bad way to spend the afternoon. So there it is, a new seafood dish that mixes a lot of Japanese flavors with a hearty ancient grain and somehow gives you an Italian name, Barley Scallopino.